So you need some help on offense? I got you. What's good, y'all? Coach Steep here, and I'm bringing you a video to help you guys learn how to create an elite offense that is going to guarantee you to at least score every single drive. This video comes from a comment that was posted on my video a couple of days ago. I think it was like a week ago, actually. This comment right here, appreciate you for commenting, man. I'm going to go in and just get into this video and hopefully I can answer the questions that you were asking me. I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to get straight into this. And the first thing that I do want to bring up is the actual playbooks you pick. Now I'm going to be straight up with you. It does not matter what playbook you use. Find a playbook that you like. For me personally, I use the Colts offensive playbook. The reason I use the Colts offensive playbook is because it has a lot of good formations that I like to throw out of, it has a lot of good running formations, and there's also a little bit of meta in these formations or in this playbook as well. Having that mixture of meta, run, and then just formations that I like is really good because it's just all around good for me. So my first tip to you, just find a playbook that you like. Now, understanding when to pass or run is all depending on your situational awareness in the game. My best tip to you is understand the strengths and weaknesses of certain defenses and use that to your advantage to figure out what you want to do. So for example, let's say we just come out in gun trips and let's say our defense is going to come out in dime two three will. Let's just call this down in distance first and ten. Usually on first and tens what you want to do, especially at the start of a game, you want to start getting the clock moving and call a play that's going to guarantee you at least a couple yards. So right here, the defense is making that extremely easy on us. We can see when you look at the box, you have three down linemen, two linebackers. That means five people in the box, which matches up with our five offensive linemen. Now, mind you, we also have a sixth lineman, which is our tight end. So right here, I'm going to run a high percentage of the time that I'm calling a play. And you can see when you run the ball, it's going to gap. You're going to get a lot of yards. That was a good six yard gain. And I can keep doing this run over and over again, just to showcase. It's going to get a few yards like every single time now obviously you don't want to do the same run over and over and over again because if you do the same run twice in a row the game will pick that up and it will actually make the defense play harder against the run and make it more difficult for you to gain yards so switch up the run every now and then we'll switch formations you know just be patient with it hit your cutback lanes if you see them what gets difficult for most people is when we try to pass against this now there are a few things that make a pass work the first thing that's going to make a password is being able to read the coverage. Now, I made a full length video on how to actually read coverages, so I will link that in the description down below. But this is a skill that you need to have if you want to become an elite passer. So I'll kind of break this down so you guys understand what I'm looking at. Right here, we are looking at a single high safety. That single high safety tells us the defense is either in a cover three or a cover one man. If you want to check if this is man coverage, it's really simple. You can easily just flip the play. All you have to do is just read something. You can tell that it's not man because nobody really followed except that slot corner. If it was man coverage, the outside corner would have followed all the way over to the other side to stay with his man assignment. Nobody's sticking with their man assignment, so that means it's zone coverage. Using that knowledge, now we can figure out where everybody else is going to be. We have all the outside, the two outside corners are going to be in deep blues. The slot corners are going to be in purple zones, and then the linebackers are going to be and hook curls. Now that we know it is cover three zone for a fact, we have to put a route concept on the field that's going to beat cover three. And there is a lot of ways you can do this. You can beat cover three using the seams. You can beat cover three using a curl flat. There's, you can beat cover three using a flood concept. There are a lot of route concepts that you can use to beat a cover three. It's just up to you which one you think will work best in this situation. For this example, I'm gonna use a chase concept. Call it a chase concept because we have this square dig route chasing the circle crosser and then we have triangle which is a flat route to take away the curl flat now this leads into the second thing that's going to make a pass play work making sure you have your reads down every single pass play has a numerical order of reads that you're supposed to be making for this specific example what i would do when i hike this play is i'm going to quickly peak circle meaning i'm just going to take a quick glance at him if the hook curl doesn't play it, I'm going to throw it instantly. Then, if I find out that the hook curl is playing that, I'm going to get my eyes to triangle. If triangle is open, I'm throwing it. If the curl flat plays triangle, I'm waiting and getting my eyes to square, which is my last read. If all those reads get taken away, it's either one, time to throw the ball away, or two, get your eyes over to the check down to chub, 
and try to make a play. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna hike this ball and read it. Circle, hook curl doesn't play and we throw it instantly. That's one thing that a lot of people don't understand about this game that makes their offense harder on themselves. Just take what's open now. By taking what's open now, we are gaining a whole lot of yards and we're still getting the ball moving. If we were to not take what's open right then and there, watch what happens. Instead of not throwing circle, now I have to sit here and throw a bad pass. I get pressure in my face. Triangle still got open, but I got pressure in my face and it made the play so much harder on me. Now, obviously there's multiple plays that can be to cover three. So let's just do another one, just for example. We'll just go to a stock verticals play here. Once again, our reads are very simple. We're gonna peak R1 first. If he gets through that little hook curls zone in the middle of the field, we're gonna throw it to him. If not, we're gonna move our eyes to Najoku and throw it to him. If not, we're gonna move our eyes to the check down to Chubb. Because in my opinion, circle most likely won't get open, but there's a chance he could. So let's hike it, let's read it. Looks like R1's taken away, so we're just gonna hit X. And Roquan Smith played that pretty well, I'm not even gonna lie to you. But again, Joku was open, we made the right read, Roquan just made a really good play on the ball. <laughs> now to be honest, we can probably still fit that ball in with a freeform pass. So I'm just gonna do the same exact thing, read it again, Joku's open. Freeform it a little bit to the outside to get away from Roquan, and then we now have a big game. This is really all it is. In, in, honest, in all honesty, it's really just like an equation that you just have to plug in the pieces to. So just to like show an example, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna have the game pick a complete random passing play for me. And I'm gonna have the game pick a complete random defense for me to look against. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a couple examples so you guys can understand what I'm talking about and how I'm doing it. We are going to figure out the coverage, we're gonna figure out a route concept against that coverage, and we're gonna get our reads down and then make a play. So the game picked stock verticals for us here. So we need to figure out the coverage. Now first, let's think about what we're looking at here. We're looking at a too high safety look. Now the first thing that I'm noticing about this too high safety look is it doesn't look like there's an outside corner on this left side. So that tells me, look to the right and what do we see? We see Amari Cooper with a man on him and Triangle with a man on him. So now I'm thinking, are we in man coverage? Let's flip this play and let's see what happens. As you can see, the corners are following over to that left side, which means this is cover to man. Now to be honest, I don't really like the play they picked for me. We wanna get something that's gonna beat man coverage. So we're just gonna get something simple like a slant. We're gonna call our audible and we're gonna call this play now. Now, now that we have the coverage figured out, now that we have the play that we want, let's get our read set up. So looking at this play, we know it's man coverage, so we wanna make our reads like this. I'm gonna look to the left side first. We're gonna look at the slot receiver first, Elijah Moore, that's our first read. Then we're gonna look for Cooper, that's our second read. And then if none of those guys are there, we're gonna check down to Chubb if we can. So let's hike this ball, let's see what happens. Triangle beats his man and we get a possession catch. Now that was really interesting, I'm not gonna lie. It almost looked like that might have been a cover one man, so that was actually a really like tricky play call to go against, but still, the read was there and we made the right read and we got the ball there. Again, we're doing another example. So let's take a look at this coverage, two high safety again. If we wanna figure out if it's man, we'll just go ahead and flip this play, let's see what happens. We are most likely in zone coverage here just because the only two people moving are those two inside guys. There is a good chance this could be man though. I'm really not sure. We're gonna motion Njoku over to this right side. And now what we're doing is we are creating two different play calls essentially on the field at once. I'm gonna make this right side my zone beater and I'm gonna make this left side my man beater. And it's gonna look something kind of like this. Like I said, right side zone beater. So what we're doing is we have a clear out on the right side to take away any deep blues. X is going to be a corner out in case it's like some sort of cover three where the clear out will actually break through. Then we also have a flat underneath that corner out, which will be a nice little check down if there's nobody in the flat. If it's man coverage, we get our eyes to the left side. We have a man beater and a zig route to beat the man coverage. We also have a man beater on square. This play is going to be a little bit different because we have to figure out what it is first, which means we have to hike it quickly figure out what coverage it is, and then we decide what side we wanna to go to. So let's hike, let's figure it out. We got man coverage, get our eyes to this left side, and we're gonna throw the man beating zig route. Not a huge gain, but it is a positive gain. 
Let's do one more example of this coming out here. Now, instantly what I'm noticing is that safety is coming down and that strong safe or that free safety is coming down and the strong safety is going up into a single high safety position. So this is telling me it's probably some sort of cover three with the free safety most likely blitzing. This is the type of play it gave us here. I'm not really sure how I feel about this play call. So I'm just going to look through my audible, see if I can find something a little bit better. All right. This is the worst formation I think I've ever seen, but it's fine. You know what? We're just going to make it work so because we know that this is a cover three we know that a curl flat is actually a really good way to beat cover three so i'm gonna i like this right side let's make a couple adjustments here instead of a streak and a curl we're gonna put circle on a curl and we're gonna put x on a flat now we created a curl flat concept and just to put a little bit more stress on this inside linebacker and kind of keep him away from this right side we're just gonna put a streak on Amari Cooper and have him on this right side, just to create a little bit more confusion on this right side. All we're gonna do, as long as this is a cover three, this should be a first down type of completion, a good one. Let's hike this ball. And we got circle wide open. Possession catch, he's gonna catch it every single time. And that's basically what we're doing. That's basically how you scheme up an offense. Now, like I said, I can't sit here and tell you an exact scheme to run. I can't, because that is something that is completely up to you, what you wanna do. My job here is to get you guys to understand how to use different formations to scheme up certain plays. Hopefully this kinda helped out. I know it can seem a little advanced at times and it can seem like a lot, but I promise you, once you just start to understand certain coverages and what beats them, and just over time, just playing the game, using that knowledge, it will really will become second nature to you. And it will allow you to be a lot more creative in what you want to call. So my best final tip for you and final thoughts for you is just get out there, start practicing, start practicing reading coverages, start practicing different route concepts that beat certain coverages. If you wanna actually practice how to beat certain coverages, you can go to the skills trainer and there's, um, there's drills on how to beat every single coverage. I actually made a video on that which I think is the video that I linked in the description. But nonetheless, I hope this can help. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff to support your boy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.